We're here at Glen Estee High School with good news for the Loveland Tigers. Tigers victorious against the Glen, uh, Glen Estee Trojans, 44 to 14. Let's talk a little bit about the storyline coming into this game. Loveland was heavily favored over Glen Estee. Glen Estee came in with a record of one and two. Loveland with that three and zero undefeated record. And Glen Estee, none of that top tier superstar talent we've seen in a couple of other games before for the Loveland Tigers. They have a solid running back in Jordan Harris and a, a good linebacker and tight end in Tyler Burdick. However, T Glenn Estee by no means was looking down on the uh, looking down, looking for a, a defeat against Loveland tonight. Coming in with the Fox Sports Ohio cameras, playing on statewide television, as well as having their own military game. They even started a Twitter trend at their school, hashtag Beat Loveland. However, that wasn't terribly successful tonight, apparently, and uh, and that was because of the running game of Nate Slagle and Luke Waddell, as well as that ironclad. Loveland Tiger defense we'll be speaking about a little bit later with Coach Cranford. And this was, the, uh, this was though, while it looks like a beatdown on paper, the first truly competitive game for Loveland. In fact, this was the first game of the season where the Loveland Tigers were ever behind. That occurred in the first half, and they really pulled away in the uh, second half, scoring, I, I believe, five unanswered touchdowns to pull away with that lead. So why was Glen Estee successful in the first half? You were looking at this very quick, small, but quick, passing game. You were seeing these corner routes being run by Tyler Flanagan, Glen Estee wide receiver, very quick, and they were able to get a, uh, a lot of yards on that. Flanagan had two touchdowns, in fact. However, in the second half, you really started to see Loveland's size and speed take over. The speed of Luke Waddell, two touchdowns tonight and uh, over 100 yards. What we saw out of him, why he's so successful, patience and acceleration. He waits for the hole, and then he's at full speed in in, in less than a heartbeat. It's absolutely incredible. That's why he's so successful, even as a freshman, a freshman, and he's doing better than most of the seniors that play high school football. Um, another thing that was very good for the Loveland Tigers is because you had Luke, uh, Luke Waddell running those outside routes, that opened up the middle of the field in the second half for Nate Slagle to take the ball up, and he ended up getting quite a few yards and a couple touchdowns for himself. However, the bright spot for Glen Estee was uh, quarterback Tyler Pilcher and Tyler Flanagan, their connection. Two touchdowns for them, and that highlighted a little bit where Loveland's a little weaker. They have a very strong inside core defense with those linebackers and defensive linemen, but they can be affected, which we saw tonight, on those outside corner, uh, outside wide receiver routes. But that's not to be said that they picked it up in the second half. Bo and Goo had a great game in the second half. He really picked it up. The brothers sack it. Also did very well. That's Darren and Chris Sackett, and Eric Pop had a very good game. Let's go on to stats, shall we? Loveland Tigers, rushing yards, 397, Glen Estee, 94. The average pay play for Loveland, 8.6. Glen Estee coming in almost half of that at 4.3. Passing yards, only 24 for Loveland. They don't really need to pass. We have such a good running game that they don't really need to take the ball to the air. Glen Estee had 130 yards passing. Total yards for the Loveland Tigers, 421. Glen Estee looking at 224 passing yards. An individual, those rushing, the two-headed monster of freshman Luke Waddell and, Nate Slag uh, and sophomore Nate Slagle. Slagle had 225 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Touchdowns. Waddell also with a pair of touchdowns in 127 yards tonight for him. Very big game next week, a rivalry game at Loveland High School versus the Kings Knights. I look forward to seeing you there. I'm Ricky Mulvey reporting at Glen Estee High School for Loveland Magazine Television.